people think I'm obsessed with this, but I'm okay with it. Hey! So what have you been up to? I, myself, have been pretty busy. Today's video is we're gonna build a head block on a comma head. But you see what I've been busy? Yeah, I started, you know, I created the block and then I had some lace and then I had some old wig cup. And then I was thinking and like, how can I make a custom fit wig cup for myself? You can actually see that in a video. I have linked the link in my description bar. This is my son doing some construction work in the background. The video is how you're gonna create a custom one. And it's set on this wig blog. And I'm, I'm literally making a custom frontal wig. Ventilating. This has been a couple, like this has been a week, but not a lot of time. I hope I'm gonna finish it soon. Follow what I'm doing is pretty easy. You're gonna build up your own foundation head. This is how I did it. It was from the book. So I don't know how precise I was, but probably, you know, in the future I'm gonna get much better but uh, I have the foundation and I'm freaking ventilating my first wig. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> Also, update, I got all the products in, so I'm gonna do a video update on how much I have spent so far with all the supplies. I suppose while I'm gonna finish editing it, I will be done with this. Just left with the face frame to add in some highlights. But yeah, I'm so stoked, I'm so excited. It's like creating something like that. You definitely have to learn it, you have to do it. If you've been like amazed about wigs, then you just start doing it. It's gonna be amazing, I'm like, I'm... I'm very proud of myself. Watch it till the end, uh, click a like, subscribe if you're watching this first time because I have a load tips and tricks and looks for hair and everything, hair to serve with 12 year experience, going allergic to color, so reinventing myself in this industry. Let's create a freaking good hair society. My goal in the hair game is to find freaking good products that work for everyone and the wigs as well. Just make our lives easier. If you're a professional, this channel is for you. If you're a consumer, this channel is also for you because there's a lot of information you can learn and share experiences and grow together. So yeah. Let's build a custom wig cap. First I'm gonna do by, well, this is a way how you can secure the hair under the cap. I suppose this technique is better for medium length to medium thickness hair. So you divide it into parts and then the right side you just somehow slide it flat and then secure it with bobby pins. Then you take the other side of the head and you continue that slide around the head. I'm using a training doll and as we all know though that hair can be a bit mess and it's it's an old one bleached and kind of naughty. Next I'm taking my Herbalife measure. So we're gonna go and catch these lines as you see in the picture on the side. So these are the um, these are the ones you have to do before you're gonna do the plastic piece like the plastic foundation and to build a custom piece this is that's what it says in the book i did a test already on my head and this is just to show you what it's done so ear to ear from the top ear to ear from the back you can see all the others from the other part ear down to nape and the nape width so these you're gonna re recheck on the plastic foundation I use two pieces so if it's a client you do exactly the same thing I advise to use a bit of cream on the face because it's gonna like how to say uh, stick on it better but where I did a knot under the jaw you would ask the client to the person to hold it and now with the scotch like mask with the tape so first you do from the front to back in the middle and then sides and then you just freaking like tape tape it as as much as possible so you're not left with any pieces I didn't do a lot of tape because I ran out of it of course but once you feel it's secure enough you mark out the hairline it will be perfect if afterwards you have marked the hairline you still put a tape on top of it so it just doesn't rub off then the red line is just as a centerpiece from the forehead and back. This should be where the seam will go when we're going to build it separately. Like I said, I did my piece already and I have a bigger head. My camera block is a size 22. I'm definitely a size 23. 
so I secured it down. It did, did a bit of headache to, like, understand if if I'm doing it right because it is a size bigger than that. But the idea was okay. And when I did the measures afterwards, I was kind of okay. It's good for the first time. But yeah, you basically lay flat. the The, the canvas had already has like a a shape for the back area and the front area. So you will understand where to lay it. So you see I have a gap there. But now I'm using uh, anim uh, like toy stuffing. And I cut the piece open and then just a lot of stuffing in. Until you make it nice and solid. I And now I realize I could even add a bit more from the amount that I did. And also those little bumps I have there. It's just those areas where because I was doing it myself. It's those areas where I didn't uh, see how I had put the hair up. And yeah, you just basically stuff it, stuff it, stuff it again, stuff it again, stuff it again. Until it kind of feels nice and solid. And those open areas, you just close with the tape again. And this is how it should look. Now I'm just gonna double check the measurements again. I ended up with this measurement. It felt a bit bigger than on my head but I was writing it off that it could be me my fail of how I measured it out so front head again and it was good to see it all fits and like I suppose with this as well you will do the markings if the air area is correct and the hairline area I still don't understand how like because we have to measure out the 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 hairline as well so just to see as you can see in the chart there was the that pointy line and then realizing it's all good so i'm gonna mark the back area with a thicker line and the front area like that so i draw the line and i wasn't secure if i'm doing it right again took the book just to double check it so i draw a line on top of the opening of the air but it should be a bit closer to the hairline like one centimeter and a little bit angled this line as well i just did out of that but then i realized in the book in one picture she doesn't say anything about it but in one picture there was where she measures out four centimeters so i thought okay i'm gonna do the same thing marking out the balance line this is where it should be like an edge where the foundation line of the full lace will end so here are the four centimeters so i realized okay i'm just gonna redraw it and it's on the top of where the red line is done so i'm just gonna follow parallel to my head and by drawing this i realized my head is in such a strange form my ears lay higher and my hairline on the neck is much lower. 